Greetings of the day everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to file audit in Windows. So what I mean by auditing is that, let's say I'm creating a file. Let's say some text file or some configuration files and then I'm trying to change some contents of the file. And then all this stuff that I'm doing will be recorded under security events in Windows. So by default, some system configurations and the stuffs by default which you do to the system changes will be recorded in under the system events in windows but let's say you want to add some custom rules so that you add some rules so that the custom file that you want to monitor is added in that security events so what i mean by that is that when you change a custom file some configuration file you need you need to know who did the changes so that you can go and see in the security events in the windows so let's get on with the video to check how to file audit in windows so before enabling the settings to turn on file auditing let's just create a file which we want to audit so let's just create a folder first which looks like some new folder say let's keep simple name then inside let's go in let's go in yes let's go in and then right click and then create a new file and just for now we just create a text document Nice and simple. Double click it. And just save it. And save it. So Lord, don't touch this file. So now we have a file to monitor. Now let's just go back. And then just go to run start and just if you just type run in the search type run okay now it gets loaded up and just match yeah we have run now double click it Yeah, so just we're gonna type GPE GP edit dot MSC then click OK. So all this which you need to type will be available in the git. So anyway, so let's just click OK and we will be getting a Windows popped up. Yes. So now we'll go to computer. Yes, we'll just make it full screen. Okay, so now under computer configuration, we'll go to Windows con Windows settings. Okay, it's a little bit slow today. The Windows machine is. So it's okay. So now we are under uh, Windows settings. We have security settings. Then. We can go to local policies. I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. And then I'm going to do audit policy. Double click it. So we'll be able to see audit object access. So by default, it won't be checked on. So we have to check on. Then apply. Then click OK. So once you see success and failure, in the audit object access so then we can go about closing this and then going into this folder so this is the stuff which we want so what we will do is right click this go to properties go to security and we'll go advanced and then we'll go auditing then we'll go continue 
then we will get this page so then just click add then we click a select a principle so what we are supposed to do is we will just type everyone and then click check names we will be underlined yes so there's there so we click ok then we're going to give full control so we want to know if someone is modifying it or reading it or executing it or just writing some stuff changes some modification and the main thing you have to notice is you have to click the type drop down and then you have to select all we want all the events that's getting generated so we just click ok so now this is done now just click apply then ok just close it now we'll just open it say we will be adding a new sentence save it just close it so now these events that we did will be recorded meaning that this file has been modified so I'll just type view event logs then we'll click on this so you have to go to windows logs then you have to go click security so all the logs that you have added so additional rules so that you monitor the custom file will be added in these events so this is how you add a custom file for auditing in windows so catch you in another one bye bye everyone